In late July, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Edwin Aldrin, and Michael Collins will set forth on one of the most daring voyages of the century. Their destination, landing site number two, a barren, pockmarked area in the Sea of Tranquility. Possible landing sites for the Apollo Lunar Module have been under study by NASA's Apollo Site Selection Board for more than two years. Thirty sites originally were considered, all located on the visible side of the moon, within 45 degrees east and west of the moon's center, and five degrees north and south of its equator. For the first lunar landing, these sites have been narrowed down to three, landing sites two, three, and five. Selection of the final sites was based on high-resolution photographs by unmanned lunar orbiter spacecraft. Factors such as landing approach terrain, landing area smoothness and slope help determine the final choice. Close-up photographs and surface data provided by the surveyor spacecraft which soft landed on the moon gave planners information needed to arrive at final selection. On Apollo 8 and 10, astronauts were able to thoroughly reconnoiter the sites selected. Apollo 10, detailed pictures of the prime landing area were televised in color back to Earth. Diamond back rill cuts a sinuous route through the Sea of Tranquility. This is the last major landmark the Apollo astronauts will see before landing. This remarkable motion picture sequence photographed on Apollo 10 shows the approach to landing site number two from an altitude of about 50,000 feet. The prime landing site is located on the east central part of the Sea of Tranquility. The site is approximately 62 miles east of the rim of the crater Sabine and about 118 miles southwest of the crater Maskeline. The approach to the landing site takes the Apollo astronauts over thousands of craters thought to be created by the impact of meteorites. These vary from a few inches to hundreds of feet in diameter. In its descent to the surface, the lunar module will fly in a windows-down attitude until it reaches an altitude of about 45,000 feet. At about 7,000 feet, it's rotated to an upright windows-forward position. The landing phase begins at an altitude of 500 feet. The final vertical descent to touchdown begins at about 150 feet. Landing site number two in the Sea of Tranquility now awaits the Apollo 11 astronauts, America's bridgehead on the moon. First stop on a journey to tomorrow. <laughs>